Welcome to Cadillac Postgame Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Friday night, the Mets open a series in Washington, badly in need of a victory, put Yoannis Cespedes on the disabled list, and the Mets won a thriller. They beat the Nationals 7-5. to five. Let's start at the end. Okay. The Mets had a two-run lead in the ninth <laughs> inning. Bases loaded against Jerry's Familia, getting his first save opportunity of the year, it seemed. He struck out Trey Turner for the first out of the inning. And then Terry Collins made a bold move. But it's after he gave up three straight hits. So he did come back on Turner, and that was good by Familia. But, you know, Familia has not been right, and he decided to go with Edgen. Edgen a week ago um, struck out Harper and with guys on base. He decided to try it again this time, and Edgen was fantastic. I just thought if, uh, you know, lefties have had success against Jerese in the past, um, you know, Bryce is even he's hitting everybody, but I just said if he's going to get a hit, he's going to have to get a hit off a lefty because right now, you know, Jarees is – velocity's great. My velocity's right where you want it, but the ball's not sinking like he wants it to, and so I was going to – I was just going to make him hit against a lefty. It looked like it was a little harder than what it was. You know, I, I think it was just the the situation it was in. Um, but I don't I, – I was trying to get a ground ball, and we got it and turned two and got the save and got a win. We needed a win, so – my first thought is make a good throw. That was my first thought. Make a good throw, and uh, and he did. And so that was you know that was the key. But yeah, that was a. Uh, it's kind of with the way things have been going. That's a big weight off our shoulders tonight. But that was a big pitch for us. He got the one-two-three double play from Harper to end the game and pick up his second career save. Earlier, Travis Darno hit two home runs against Max Scherzer. First two home run game of his career. A career high five RBIs to lead the Mets offense. I just tried to keep things simple today. Um, I had a good talk with Kay Long today about me possibly overthinking things, so I, today I was just trying to see the ball and hit the ball. We've seen him swing the bat. You know, he did. He hit the ball great a couple of years ago, and you know, last year he had a down year, but he's dangerous in his swing. He's swinging great right now, and uh, but it, we needed it certainly tonight. You know, we came into the game saying, you know, the the Cy Young Award winner can be beat by the home run ball, and Darno hit two of them, but it really took not only those, but uh, the real fine pitching of Jacob DeGrom. DeGrom striking out 12, third straight start. He struck out 10 or more first, meant to do that since David Cohn in 1992. I think just trusting my pitches. Um, you know, I'm, I've been able to throw my fastball pretty much where I want it besides that second inning. Um, my change has been good, slider. Uh, you know, I've been able to mix it up and keep guys off balance, so I think that's just kind of what we've been going out there and doing. I'll tell you one thing: when he gave up the homer to Weeders, it, it, it ticked him off, and he came uh, he came inside, and and you could tell by his expression, the way he went about things, he was he was going to turn it up. You know, it's, it, I definitely look forward to getting out there. Um, you want to put a stop to a losing streak, and you know, I was uh, a, a fortunate I was able to do it tonight. So the Mets snap their six-game losing streak, beat the Nats for the first time this season. They'll try and keep it going Saturday afternoon with Zach Wheeler on the mound against Steven Strasburg. Coverage on Picks 11 begins Saturday afternoon at 12.30. That'll do it for Cadillac Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.